congratulations on a fantastic film. Thank, Thank you. you. Were you familiar with the Ned Kelly and his gang before you took on the project? Well, uh, Australian bush rangers are taught in primary school as part of our Australian history, and um, Ned Kelly is kind of an iconic figure in Australia, at almost as Australian as a kangaroo or the Sydney Hop Opera House or the Harbour Bridge or Uluru or a can you know. <laughs> He's like a stamp. He's like a, a symbol of Australia that uh, don't necessarily, not everyone knows his story or, or how true his story is. There's a lot of different um, historical documents about it. But um, I read this novel, True History of the Kelly Gang, and Peter Carey's uh, amazing story, sort of from inside Ned Kelly's head and in a beautiful letter to his unborn child, it says nothing that I'm about to tell you is a lie. You know, or my, may I die in hell <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if yeah, yeah. I... Die in hell if I speak false. If I speak false, that's yeah. right. Did you? I, yeah, I knew, I knew the symbol of Ned, as Essie said. I knew his helmet, which is, you know, the, the armour that he wore and taken on the police at Glen Rowan with his, with his gang, and I knew his name, and that's all I understood of the man before reading Peter Carey's book and researching the character. Excellent. Um, and the complicated family relationships were key in Ned's path to become a bushranger. Um, how would you describe your relationship with each other? Well, uh, loving. Uh, yeah, <laughs> love. Filled with love. Um, Ellen is a survivor. She's a, a woman with a husband who has grown weak because of his imprisonment and uh, the brutality of the um, English police and troops upon the Kelly family. She's um, a mother of many children and she's become the matriarch of the family and she's a survivor in a very brutal world. And she's training her children how to survive. So she's quite strong. And I, th I think Ned, within that relationship, Ned is, as a boy, because of his father's, you know, we, like his father's failures, I guess, um, it, his, he's been made to be a, be a man too soon. And therefore, when he becomes a man, he's sort of stuck being a boy. And it's... Uh, so he's, it's this beautiful contradiction where his mother is his everything, it's his greatest love, and then when he becomes a man, he sort of became her husband when he was a kid. And so he's, she's every, everything to him, and he's sort of everything to her, and he doesn't know where he stands within that. All he's got is the love that kind of, the love is the only thing that crosses all of those different functions. And yeah, and he has the opportunity to go out on his own in the world but um but Ellen really doesn't want to be left alone she thinks loyalty is everything excellent what did you find uh, most challenging and intriguing also about your roles crumbs I think <laughs> I find uh, Ellen's quite a mercurial character and uh, I guess marrying all of her actions with uh with her needs it's it's a complicated role but i love how layered it is and how some people might see her as uh, uh evil <laughs> when i think deeply she's you know she's doing the absolute best she can to to give her family the best go they have in life in a very brutal world i think I think for me, Ned was so many things kind of sunk into Ned over a period of time and sort of became him a little bit through uh, just through the doing of it. And so I couldn't name one particularly. The thing that I felt most sort of intimidated by is I think when you first, everyone's idea of the man as well, and that is an integral part of this character, is is his sort of, is the command that he can have, is I guess the sort of, intimidating element of his presence which I myself was like oh I don't know if I carry that so the idea of stepping into that without it being a kind of pantomime tough guy um, and how how to navigate that and to put that across truthfully that was the thing that I was kind yeah. of most uh, scared by 